Du, 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 du. Oh, that's not high enough, is it? This is sketchy. I still don't think that's high enough. How many books do I need? On that note, good book, really good book, great books. I think that'll do. I saw a really good quote yesterday and it went something like this. True impact isn't measured by numbers, it's measured by connection. And that's why I truly believe that the subscriber is dead. There was a point on YouTube whereby the goal was to get to your first 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, a million, two million, so on and so forth. It, the, it goes on and on. And although I still think that has meaning, it has far less of a meaning than what it used to. And the reason I say this is because the video that I posted yesterday, a message to creators is, although it didn't get a vast volume of views, it still performed okay for me. It's on something like 70 views or something on those lines, but it really got some nice comments from a handful of people. And that really connected me. And I actually, sometimes when someone comments on a video, they're like, great video. And I just reply with a thank you. But when someone sends me a paragraph, I take the time out of my day to actually think and dwell on what is it that I want to say back to that person. Like I want to build a connection with that person. And I think those connections would be lost in a large volume of just numbers and views and subscribers. I think the one thing everyone who is starting to create content these days should be focusing on is building community. And I know, I know that word is thrown about so much at the moment with no real meaning or context behind it. How I define community though is a group of people who align with you and have the same values and beliefs as you. Imagine having an audience of people, a hundred people who trust you, value you, and every time you upload something, they watch it from start to finish and they all comment. Imagine how connected that group of people would be you would start to see similar faces. You would start to recognize people. It would become a community. I think the reason we all loved Casey Neistat was because he unknowingly built this mass community of people who all shared the same interests, who all wanted or had the same outlook on life as him. I think if he ever held like a, a meetup, a mass meetup, which he would probably have to hold in some crazy stadium because of the size of his audience, everyone would get on. They all would be connecting and communicating with one another because they've all come together through these similar beliefs as one another. You're always gonna have this carrot dangled in front of you, which is the algorithm. Do this thing, tweak that, make this hyper-edited to favor the algorithm. And if you do that, then you might get loads of views and you're gonna get this spike of dopamine and you're gonna feel fantastic for a very short period of time until you realize either one, that's probably not sustainable or two, it's just not you. Remove all the metrics, get rid of the likes, get rid of the views, get rid of the subscribers. The only thing that you can have is the community section or the comments. That's where your focus should be. Instead of focusing on how many views can I get, how can I go viral, shift your focus to how can I create meaningful interactions with the people that are always consuming my content. So on that note, you incredibly lovely lot, I want you to comment in the comment section down below and say who you are, where you're from, and why you're here. And we can begin to start to build this community together. Okay, I've got to go. It is my beautiful girlfriend's birthday today. I'm gonna to get a fresh trim. I'm gonna get some ingredients and I'm gonna make us a I'm gonna make us a lemony pasta tonight. How good does that sound?